Hi everyone, it's Miss Hope here. Um, I hope you're all doing fine and you're all doing well. So <laughs> it's Palm Sunday today and I hope you're all excited about that. So I hope your break's been going fine and you're having a good time and having fun just staying at home and you know relaxing yeah so like i said it's palm sunday today and that is the day when jesus made his entrance into jerusalem as the messiah and he wanted everyone to know that god had sent him to bring the good news to the world so before we get into that let us take a minute to open us in prayer okay. so dear lord we thank you for today we want to thank you for these children of yours we thank you for their lives and we thank you for giving them the drive to even interact with you in this time lord we thank you for the technology you've provided to allow us to record this video and to even reach our kids at this time lord we pray that you shall speak to them through this message and that you be with them and their families amen so we're gonna i'm just gonna tell you everything we're gonna do for a bit so i'm gonna tell you about the scripture reading for today and we're going to do that with some drawing and some pictures so that's going to be exciting and then after that there's going to be an activity in case you want to join that okay so it's time to get into the lesson for today so our scripture reading for today is from mark 10 no mark 11 sorry from verses 1 to 10 and then luke 19 from verses 28 to 40. basically they're just different people telling the same story but mark chapter 11 verses 1 through 11. jesus comes to jerusalem as king as they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, what are you do why are you doing this? The Lord needs it and will send it back here shortly. They went and found a colt outside in the street, tied at a doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, What are you doing untying that colt? They answered as Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of Lord, the Lord. Blessed is, is the coming of kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple courts. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went to Bethany with the twelve. The story to you using these pictures. <laughs> Yay. So... In the Bible, we've watched as Jesus had gone around preaching to different people everywhere he went. He was always surrounded by people. He gave them the message of Christ. He fed them. He healed them. And he became their friend, most importantly. He just tried to always be around people to spread the love of God and show all the people around him that God cared about them and that he was here to save them. So Jesus and his friends were on their way to Jerusalem and the temple of the Lord was in Jerusalem. So it was the time of the year for them to go to a festival, which was the Passover. And this was not the only reason Jesus was going to Jerusalem. He also wanted to go to Jerusalem because it was time to reveal to the world that he was the savior that God has sent. He was the Messiah. 
and it was a very exciting time for Jesus and his friends and they were very happy to do this so Jesus sent his friends to go find a donkey that he was gonna ride in on to enter Jerusalem so they found the donkey and brought it to him and they proceeded they started on their journey to Jerusalem to tell everyone that Jesus was the Messiah and the king was here <laughs> yeah so as Jesus rode on the donkey on the streets into Jerusalem people were very excited because they were happy for the king to come and for the Savior that God had promised them to come into Jerusalem so we saw people put their coats on the floor and people used palm trees like the one we have here to celebrate and show that they were happy for Jesus to come into Jerusalem. They were happy that the Messiah was finally here. So we just watched them as they had the greatest parade ever, the most important one they paraded into Jerusalem and it was the glorious coming of Jesus into Jerusalem so there was a lot of noise and there was a huge crowd with Jesus as he was trying to enter Jerusalem and then people saw him and they thought he was a mighty warrior king who was here to save them from the Romans who had taken over the country and he was a kind of king but not that kind of king but yeah a, a lot of people no not everyone fully understood the kind of king he was and what he came to do now because everyone was so happy and they were all joyful there was a lot of noise so even before Jesus got to Jerusalem the people of Jerusalem could see Jesus and all the people that were coming with him and they started looking from over their city to see what was happening and to figure out like who is the person who's coming why is everyone making noise they wanted to join the celebration and be a part of praising Jesus so what they did was when they when he came into their city they all started screaming hosanna hosanna and they started worshiping him and praising him because they knew he was the king who was supposed to come they were all very happy and <laughs> yeah i mean who wouldn't be it's jesus so when Jesus finally got to Jerusalem, he got into the temple where the Passover was supposed to happen. And there were these people in the temple who are like, they're in charge of the temple. And when they saw all that was happening, they weren't too happy about it because I don't know, they just weren't ex extremely happy about it like other people. So they the children in the city were praising Jesus and calling him Hosanna and they were just giving glory to his name and when these leaders saw what was happening they got even angrier and they were like telling Jesus to stop talking and to tell the to tell the children to stop praising him and saying all those praises to him they didn't like that and Jesus answered them saying well the children are right to say what they're saying and if they didn't he would get the stones and the rocks to to praise him because jesus was supposed to be praised and all of this was just to show that jesus was the king and he was here to save everybody he wanted to show the people of jerusalem that god genuinely loved them and cared for them and that he was going to save them by dying on the cross because he had to go and proclaim and tell everyone that he was the messiah because he knew it was almost time for him to lay down his life on the cross and die to save everybody so by jesus's death on the cross everybody was saved and he took away the sin and the pain and the suffering from people and he just allowed people to fellowship as a community and as a family and to partake in god's love and for everyone to be one united 
that is together they are all one family in god together so now we know the story of how jesus entered jerusalem and how he showed himself to the people of jerusalem and told them that he was the king and that he was messiah so thank the lord for that and throughout the story we see that everybody all the crowd they're all praising jesus and to praise jesus means to from the depths of one's heart like to mean that you're grateful to him to show gratitude to show appreciation and to acknowledge the fact that jesus is great and that he made us all and that he loves us and we see that the people of Jerusalem they praise Jesus by singing to him by calling calling him names of praise we see that they praised him also by shouting and then the way the reasons they did this is because they had seen Jesus heal their sick and like save people and provide them food and he has just helped them in so many ways and he showed them their love so they felt the need to praise him and worship him and express their thanks and in our lives jesus continues to do things for us as well so we also have reasons to praise god we can praise god for our family we can praise god that we are alive and that we're able to wake up we can praise god for providing for us and we can praise god for you know making us happy allowing us to come to church and most of all we should thank god for giving us the the gift of jesus to you know come and die for our sins and save us so we're thankful to god for providing us with a lot of grace and for everything he has done to us in general so how can we praise god like the people of jerusalem well we can sing to him as well we sing songs of praises and hymns of thanksgiving to show jesus that we are grateful for everything he's done and also we can praise him by telling him just simply saying thank you jesus by just telling him we're grateful to him and yeah i hope we are all able to find things that we thank god for in our lives and then you know praise god for that so the whole point of today in palm sunday i just hope we're able to understand that jesus is the messiah and then he's the king and that he really loves us that's why he came on earth to show us himself and to save us so that we don't die of sin and he just wanted to invite us to the family of God so we could all be one big happy family in Christ and all be saved. So, that's the end of our lesson for today and I hope you all learned something and there's going to be uh an activity attached to this video. So, if you want to do that, you should, you know, get into that. So, yeah. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Praise the Lord. Hosanna, Lord, save us. Hosanna to the King of David. Praise the Lord.